So this is kind of part two of our video on how to get scratches out. The first video we showed you polishing, buffing, sanding, and all that kind of stuff. This is where we're going to show you how to actually fix that scratch that was pretty deep. You can kind of catch it with your fingernail, but it doesn't need painted. You're right on that edge. So this is a much more advanced video. If you're watching this video first and try this, don't do it. Watch the other video first, then come back to this one. So this is a scratch that we had, and in the first video you saw, we tried to buff it out. You can catch it with your fingernail, okay? So that's kind of a normal scratch that you would get. Maybe you got on your bike and your foot kicked across it. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to start out with 1,000 grit first, okay? So 600 is probably too coarse. We're going to start out with 1,000 grit and see how it goes. Now, I had told you to use that foam pad. What I'm going to do now, the foam pad will work, but if you can keep your fingers flat and don't do that two finger gouge that I showed you, I use four fingers, keep them flat. You can actually control where you push on the scratch, okay? You don't want to, the block is going to sand that whole big area. We don't want to do that. We just want to lightly sand this scratch because when you're sanding this, and I don't know if you can see this in the video, we can see the scratch disappearing, okay? Up here you can still see it. Right here it's disappeared, and right here you can see just a little bit of that, okay? So I'm just lightly sanding and I'm watching. As soon as that scratch disappears, you're done. Don't keep going, because you keep going, you're gonna take risk getting down into the black, into the paint, okay? Now, wipe it off continually and let it dry you'll see the scratch. Move your head so you're in different angles of the light because one way you may not see it but when you move your head and you look a different way you may see that. So it's still there, okay? So if you're looking here, and again hopefully you can see this. I'll try to get this really nice and dry. Okay, right here you see that little white line? that's still the scratch showing up. Back here it looks like it's pretty well gone but right there that's where it's a little bit deeper. So now you just have to keep doing the same thing and again I look like I'm going like this but I'm actually going in an X. I'm going this way right now and then I'm gonna switch and go this way. Now I'm getting down pretty far. I mean I'm sanding quite a bit and my scratch is still there. You have to determine how far do you want to go because if you go too deep, you know, you, you keep in mind, we've already taken some layers of clear off here. But see, the scratch is pretty much gone. It's, it's still there a little bit. So you have to determine, well, I got most of it out, but I didn't screw it up. So it's better than it was. That's only something you can determine. And to be honest, the only way you're going to know is you got to screw it up and then you say, okay, now I know what too far means. Okay, I'm going all different ways here. And I'm being pretty aggressive there. Now, that scratch is virtually gone. It's a little bit right here. And again, different way you look at it in the light, you're going to see it. Now, I probably could take some 600 grit or some 800 grit and get that scratch out much quicker, but I don't want to do that because that'll you don't have any room for leeway there if you screw up. And this is exactly, if you took it to the body shop and had those guys fix it, this is exactly what you do. Obviously, like I said, I had a body shop. I did this stuff for 30 years. This is how it's done. Okay, so that looks like now, I think I got it. I think it's pretty good. The worst case that's going to happen is when you buff this, and you get all done, you're gonna still see the scratch a little bit. 
So you just start back over and you sand it a little bit and you, you just keep going. Now that's thousand gridded down, okay? So that scratches out pretty good. Now what you want to do next is you want to take like 1500. You can buff this out at a thousand and it'll work fine. Just 1500 is going to make it a little bit easier to buff, okay? So now I don't want to concentrate where that line was too much. I want to blend this in. So I want to sand all around it, okay? Now again, you see my four fingers are flat. I'm not doing this two finger, one finger kind. Four fingers are flat because I'm sanding a bigger area. I do right where the scratch was a little bit because you can see when this is doing it, you can see and it looks pretty smooth. You would be able to see the scratch. So I get that pretty good like that, okay? So now I have an area that I smoothed out and I kind of blended it. That's what it's called, blending. I kind of blended that all in. So in the right light, just barely I can see a little bit of that scratch. At this point, I'm not going to worry about that. One thing I'll show you, how I say when you see that white, that's the clear. Let me show you, hopefully the camera will pick this up. My other video, I showed you how to burn the paint. So this spot right here is burned. Okay, let me try something here. If you can see that, that water right here, it's not really white, it's kind of grayish right here. That's because I'm into the black paint underneath, okay? When you see that color and it goes from that white to that black, that means we've screwed up. See how that's black? Okay, that means I've hit the paint underneath. Once you do that, there's nothing you can do. You took the clear coat off, the shine won't be right, nothing will be right, so you can't do anything. So now that we got that scratch out, now you just take your normal um, buffing techniques like I showed you. Okay, we're gonna use the wool pad first just to kind of cut it down. You can use the, the foam pad. I like the wool. And you have to be careful because remember the clear is gone. You've taken some clear off, so it's not as much clear on there. So you have to be careful when you're buffing this. Okay, you can see it's coming back to shine. It doesn't take a lot of effort to, to get that because we use 1500. So what I can see, and you probably can't see it, but in the light, right here, there's that still that tiny little scratch. Really, really tiny, right here, okay? One thing to keep in mind, fluorescent lights, like in your garage, will show all kind of marks. So if you're really picky, do it under fluorescent light and it'll show better. If you took this outside, you would never see that. But if we're trying to get like a show job, we want to polish that and I can just kind of go a little bit more with the buffer. And it's really small and I can work that scratch right out, okay? So now it looks like it's, it's gone and I'm looking at all different light right now, okay? So I don't see that scratch in there anymore. That is all polished out right now. One thing you want to notice, you see how I'm burning the tape? That would be the edge burning off right now of the paint. That's why I like to put a little tape on there. A lot of people say, ah, oh, if you knew what you were doing, you wouldn't need the tape. Well, I know what I'm doing and I use the tape because I don't want any mistakes. So now you can go back with your foam pad and some medium compound because we did, we got everything out. Now we're just going to polish and try to get the swirls out.
So you can see that's looking pretty good there. You can't see that scratch. If you get a close up on there, you can't see that scratch at all. So I'm going to take my waffle pad, my white waffle pad on this, and the fine polish. And you might do that a little bit longer, just for the time's sake with the camera, we're kind of going quicker. But again, you can see, it's, it's damn near show quality, just in that quick. So that got that smooth. There is absolutely no sign of that scratch whatsoever. A little hand glaze. And I'm just going to polish that in and rub it in right now. Okay. I have a little bit different wax here. It's called an insulator wax, just a different brand. I put that on there. And again, when you when you do all these, make sure your your waxer pad that you're using to put the wax on is clean. This stuff is so cheap, just buy a new one. If there's any dirt or anything in it, go buy a new one. You can buy a pack of them for like three or four dollars. Don't use dirty towels. I can tell you that's where most of you guys are going to run into problems. So once that wax dries, wipe it off. And your bike should look just like that. You don't need to go to a body shop if you have the, just give it some, uh, give it a try. Take your time. Uh, again, that's a mostly a feel thing how I was doing that, but you can see you can see the reflection of the camera in there where there was a scratch a minute ago. So you watch most of my videos, you don't know we don't use fancy editing techniques or anything. That's how it's done. Normally I say it's that easy. That's not that easy. That is a lot of experience that I was able to do that. So please don't try that right on your bike first time. Find something else. Take your tractor put a scratch in it try to fix that first so that's how you fix a scratch hopefully you guys learned something today you can give it a try if you have any questions just email us witchdoctors.com go to the product inquiry or give us a call customer service we'll answer what we can because um, we want your bike to look the best you can and we want you to be able to do it thanks for watching